Hey y'all, it's time for my State of the Channel address. And this year, instead of a live stream, it's a nice and clean Adobe Spark presentation for you. I've used Spark for over a year for some things on this channel. So if you'd like to know more about it, stick around until the end of the video. Watching multifaceted ACG interacting with me and my various works, I consider these to be transactions. I'm an entertainer, yeah, but multifaceted ACG is also a business, not MACG Productions, the limited liability corporation, but me, separate from that, I, I do a lot. Therefore, by being transparent about what happens behind the scenes as an influencer, you, the consumer, can make decisions about how you show support. None of that fake news stuff, just all facts. So let's take a look at the numbers. As of today, there are approximately 878 live videos on my channel. For 2018, this clocks in at 684,280 watch time minutes, 178,315 views, 10,114 likes, 50 dislikes, and 8,039 comments. It's not bad. <laughs> Magwalas and those in need of a good laugh shared my videos 779 times in 2018, gaining our community an additional 346 subscribers. And because I took a longer than usual hiatus this year, I didn't cross 11,000 total subscribers, but this number is still awesome. What does that all add up to in earnings? Well, $316.53. This number is solely from monies through ads that appear on my channel. You might not enjoy advertisements, but by allowing them to play from time to time, it pays me for the content I create for your enjoyment. 2017 was the best earnings generated on my channel since being on YouTube by a little over 83 bucks. I did earn more this year, and I'll explain how. Because many Megwala showed support through Super Chat donations, purchasing Miss Blink music, previous Patreon donations, or simply asking if I have Cash App or PayPal to send me money just because, those moments of kindness increased the earnings of 2018 to $956.63. With no live appearances at events or conventions the entire year, you created a great financial year for me. I cannot express my gratitude for your support enough. Megwalas, I've always said that you're the best community a person could ever have. Content creators have a space in our hearts for our supporters that's not easy to put into words. I mean, it's, it's hard to explain in the average way to an average person what it's like to love almost 11,000 people you've never met in person. In our case, 92% of you identify as female, 7.7% .7 identify as male. For the 0.3% who identify as other, you are seen, you are heard, and I value you greatly. You consume my content the most in the USA, UK, Thailand, Canada, and New Zealand. These top five countries tie into my channel perfectly for these reasons. I'm American. I speak English. I have a sibling in Europe. I love GOT7 and love many dancers from New Zealand. Thus, my top 10 videos of 2018 are closely tied into content that would appeal to this audience. The top 10 videos of 2018 are still number one, multifaceted ACG reacts to Royal Family, the front row performance, the vampires of K-pop, <laughs> there's no shock there. What I've learned six months in South Korea, I rant about K-pop YouTubers being attacked for monetization. My 2018 April Megwala's Hangout, Jinju's Got Seven, Real Got Seven, season three, um, also, things I wasn't prepared for living in Korea, my hangout that I did in 2018 with you all, my horrible dating experience that catfish was so tender, and most recently, the NCTU Baby Don't Stop fangirl version. You all made those top 10 come to life. Now, some things they never did take off in 2018. Case in point, this microphone that I purchased is absolutely useless. I can't wait to get a new one. Um, I never did get great moments in choreography off the ground. It's a very large undertaking that takes a lot more production manpower than I have available. I feasted. <sighs> That's been a dream for what, two years at this point? I fully let it go. After watching enough YouTube channels that strictly focus on food, that's not my lane. I just like to eat, so we'll keep that for random stuff. Um, what else? I launched 
the Giving Megualas, which is a philanthropic arm of our fandom. That is successful. However, there was a huge Super Chat donation that was facilitated in 2018 that took months for me to actually get from YouTube. And it made me question the validity of being able to have Super Chat and be able to move that money over. The money has finally deposited to me. I mean, by this point, it definitely did. But I never did deposit it into the Kiva account. By the time YouTube rendered it over to me, I actually needed the money. So the whole use of it didn't even happen the way that I intended. Nonetheless, I will still deposit that money into the account for 2019. I said what I said about it being used for good purposes. So that's what I want to do. I am worried about the validity of asking for Patreon patrons. I have a Patreon account, and for a while there were a few people on there assisting and backing me financially with making certain content, but once I brought up the Giving Megualas, I asked that everyone take themselves off of my Patreon account, but I think two people stayed around anyway. At this point, for the content that I'll be making in 2019 and 2020, there's a possibility that Patreon might come back, but some of the things that are important to me in the future, such as making sure that I take as much time necessary for me to personally not be in front of the camera so that I can take care of things for MacG Productions, the LLC, I don't know how to justify the perks. I'm open to suggestions, though. Uh, speaking of not being in front of the camera that much, in 2019, there won't be as many live chats. Not because I don't enjoy them. God knows that I do. They are so much fun to hang with you all that way. However, I need my voice and the content that I create to extend itself much further than what it currently does. YouTube is a big computer program. It is owned by Google. Google is its mama and Google loves its numbers and its quantitative data. With me having a hodgepodge of things on my channel, it's really hard to put me into a space where I can be suggested to people, although YouTube homepage suggests me more than 90% of the time to people looking for similar content. That was a motivating factor for starting a Miss Blink YouTube channel and will also be the motivating factor for what happens for content in 2020. So, 2019, yes, you will still get your lives will be ruined. Here's a letter, fangirl versions, and, and our general K-pop live streams. However, I will be gearing up content more specifically for things that'll happen in 2020. There will be a whole new channel that releases. No, this one is not going away. There will be a whole new channel that releases, which I will not say the name of just yet because I'm already recording content for it. But it will become a general encyclopedia, a hub, if you will, of K-pop content. I'm working hard on it. It's gonna probably kill me at some point in time, but I know what I'm setting out to do and I know what type of authoritarian I want to be in this niche. And I love the genre, but I no longer in any shape, form, or fashion compete with MV reactors because I don't react. And I'm in my mid-30s. I'm growing and my knowledge base as well as my interests is growing, well, are growing. So that has to change as well too. So you'll still get the fun stuff. I'm not just going to snatch it away from you all only give you five months to enjoy it like when I stop becoming an MV reactor. You'll have a whole year of the enjoyable content here and it will continue on. But you can anticipate a whole nother channel in 2020. I got to compete on a huge level and the only way to set myself apart is to really set myself apart. We'll have a live chat real soon and we can talk more in depth, but I welcome your questions down in the comment section i will be answering as actively as possible and i look forward to seeing you all i appreciate you so so much for rolling with me all these years or if you're new to my channel all these few weeks or months it's a really really awesome thing and just like i said in the beginning of the video please check out adobe spark it is a free website the amount of things you can do with like this super hyped up ppt experience on a free 99 basis yeah you can't miss out on that i look forward to seeing what you all have to say and what comments you have and i look forward to seeing you very very soon bye y'all